welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So sometimes I get a little confused. So we're back out here. We're going to do another flight. So in the last episode, we did the initial test flight of the up air with the gimbals and the triprops. Worked out pretty good. We got a little bit of wind now buffeting us. So we're going to try another flight. I think in the last episode it was recording. I'm still not sure, but I think I've got all the cameras set up and going. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to arm this and uh, we're going to take this up and do a little bit more testing. So we've got the copter armed. We're going to take it up a couple feet and we're going to do a yaw just to kind of adjust the compasses. Kind of work it around. And we'll yaw it back around the other way. Okay, we'll let it settle in there a little bit. It's drifting a little. I'm just kind of curious to see how this is. Now, it's being buffeted by a little bit more wind than in the last episode. So, uh, but still, it's still hanging in there pretty good. Uh, you definitely see that the uh, gimbal mount is not vibrating, so I got it out of that prop wash area, which is good, uh, which was a big thing. So it's hanging pretty tight there. So I really like this, the, the design a lot on this. I think I'm going to do a little bit, a few modifications in the future of it. Uh, but in general, I like it pretty good. Now I've got the camera facing down, and I've got the 360 facing forward. And so... Uh, Let's, uh, let's ja jockey it around and let's, uh, let's take it forward out over the lake a little bit. And let's fly it down this way a little bit. I want to kind of keep it a little bit low. I want to see what kind of video I can get out of it, kind of keeping it low. What I'm also doing is, is a little bit practicing driving this, if you will. And then bringing it back up and around. Just notice I'm bringing it back up. I'm a little bit nervous as how close I've got it to the water. But now notice I'm bringing it back around. So I'm taking it now back down. I want to bring it more back towards the land. I think I'm now bringing it back in more towards me, so let's taper the yaw a little bit. And now it's coming back up. I have to itch my nose there. So again, just uh, again practicing running it up and down. I want to get better at more direct piloting of this thing. Just checking the beach, make sure nobody's coming. I wouldn't want to run this into somebody because I got it pretty low. I'm going to boost it up a little bit. So spinning it around. Again, this is, this is kind of good to get a little bit of practice with this where you can kind of see it versus getting it out there a ways. Uh, and being able to pilot it because I tell you what, this, this is one of the biggest things, even uh, with GPS and I like the Leechy's waypoint and everything, being able to actually stick it is uh, I think a pretty good trait uh, in being able to pilot these things, especially if you get into a little bit of trouble. Knowing which way to push the sticks is uh, important and having your orientation correct. So you see I'm bringing this back around so it's uh, coming back towards me. And turning it back around this way, heading it back down. It's kind of like NASCAR in a way, but I'm going to bring it. I'm going to turn it the other way now and bring it back up this way. So I'm going to yaw it the other way. I want to get a little bit more altitude on it. One of the things I want to do is uh, get into some FPV racing. I think that would be a lot of fun. 
See, I made a mistake there. I meant to go the other way. And uh, so that's, that's what having a little bit of practice, I think, does. Yeah, I think I think I think FPV racing would be a lot of fun. I think that's going to be the next thing I'm going to try experimenting with. I'll probably make one. But again, just flying this back up and getting the uh, stick time, I think, is important. You know, especially as you're starting out flying, it's a lot of fun. But this is a rather big copter to be. Uh, flying so low and so fast with. But I got I have it almost full stick forward. That was an interesting little maneuver. I wonder how that seagull video will come out. So we'll just pivot it around. Yeah, see now I've lost orientation of it. Yeah, I think I have orientation back. Because that's probably something else uh, probably worth practicing is losing orientation and trying to regain it. Now running two cameras on this, it's, it's a little bit more lethargic than with uh, the uh, stock camera on it. Stock camera and gimbal. Yeah, see I lost it again there. Because this when it gets out to about this range I'm having a hard time seeing it. We should probably work on bringing it back this way and uh, we should probably check the battery on it. It might be getting down there. Let's go out and take a look at the battery. Let's bring her down a little bit. Yeah, we're down to about one bar. Let's take a look at everything. Wow, I tell you, the prop wash, standing right here, there's a lot of prop wash coming off those tri-props. A lot more than off the standard props. I'm definitely giving the tri-props a thumbs up on this. I really like them. So uh, I'm going to just take it out one more time, then we'll bring it back in. So I'm just going to take it straight out, then I'm just going to bring it straight back. So I'm just bringing it straight out. So I don't know if you can see the parallax as it's going out. It almost, and it might be coming pretty close to the ground too. I want to take it up because uh, the beach might actually run up. We've had a lot of rough weather. You can kind of see the beach down there where, where it's eroded and by the jetties. So let's, uh, let's bring this back. One of the things I want to do that I haven't done since making the mods is test uh, test the return to home. So I'm going to test the return to home home now. So I'm, I, I clicked return to home and let's see what happens. See if the return to home actually works in my electronics mod. So I've got return to home. There it is. I want to be able to just make sure if I have to I can bail from the return to home. Flying into the sun. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. It's coming down on its own. Oh, we're looking pretty good. It looks, looks like it's doing a little, maybe a little bit better than I did in the last episode, manually landing it. But down. And
We'll set it to disarm. One of the things that I've noticed too is you really have to get the stick right in the center, right at the bottom for this to disarm. If you're off a little bit with the stick on this, it won't disarm the copter. Uh, the motors will spin down real slow as you saw, but I had to get the stick back over, so, you know, maybe a little bit of point. But, hey, we've had another good flight of the up air. We've practiced some maneuvering, and this is one of the things I'd really suggest to a lot of the newer pilots out there, is practice your maneuvering uh, like that. And then, you know, when you lose orientation, put yourself in a situation to lose orientation, then work on regaining it uh, to get that practice and, and, you know, understand, you know, certain points of... Um, your copter to understand that orientation a little bit better especially when you get out there so anyways if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up uh, definitely subscribes coming up over there comments below and hey I'll see you in the next video a lot more flying to do cheers